but um, I know we're talking about this thing called chat GPT. What is it? <laughs> All right, well, I'll do my best to explain it as well. And whilst I spend a lot of time working with the technology, there are people that are much better versed to go into the details. So I'm going to ask for forbearance for all the AI people and data scientists out there who start pulling their hair out when I start mashing some of the description. <laughs> uh, but we'll do what we can here. Okay, so first of all, what does chat GPT stand for? So chat GPT is a chat generative pre-trained transformer. GPT is a generative pre-trained transformer. And you'll be like, well, what on earth is a GPT? What is that? Well, it describes it's not some of the tech prime then. Hmm? Not, so no, no, although, although I will come on to some interesting transformer related stuff later on. Um, yes, so it's um, what's called a large language model. And a large language model is a particular type of model that's built on the principles of neural networks. Now, We'll go from the bottom up quite simply. Hopefully, you might know what a neural network is. But if you don't, don't worry. If you've got a medical background, a neural network's been around for a while. It's basically a, a mathematical and software approach. It's inspired by nature um, to create a kind of mechanism by which you have, like, essentially neurons, essentially digital neurons. And they will mm -hmm. take input and they will process data by passing it across these neurons to an output. So you get data in, processed, data out. It's using principles that are the same within the human body and, and, and biology. So that's the neural net. The large language models are a particular type of those that are space that are trained to take text input and produce text output as well. So what might they be used for? Well, for a start, if you've used Google at all and you've used language translation, that will be a large language model. It can help classify text. It can identify what different text means. It can work out what the sentiment of the content of text might be, help with comprehension of reading, answer questions and answers, and even generate um, copy, like uh, news articles, tweets, interviews, and so on. Okay. So they're pretty capable uh, things. They've been around for a little while, but it's... But it's what's been very, very interesting recently is that they've they all the mathematical and sort of technological advances means they can build ever, ever bigger models and ever, ever bigger data to train it. And that's where we come to with things like GPT. OK, so it can basically take data, process it and output it in a different way is the absolute basic part of it. 